Monday morning to you. <laughs> Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, here we are in, um, oh, where are we? We're in, jeez, Bakersfield. Yeah, and we're heading to Carson City. And uh, we've got a new skin on here. It's not so much a skin. Well, it's, it's painted. The paint's locked at gray with a red chassis because this is a real truck in the real world. And it's a North Coast uh, Wine is the company. And it's a uh, pretty cool outfit. They just truck wine in containers. That's about what they do. So um, we'll talk about it on the way. And because uh, we got to get going. It is California, so we're going to be going slow. And uh, boy, <laughs> it's a bit of an ordeal. But there's lots of cool stuff going on here with this uh, whole deal here, what we just did with this skin. And it's going to end up being a tutorial here pretty quick. Is I learned a few things too uh, that I'd like to share. So, see that doesn't sound like Zmod's a Zmod engine, does it? <laughs> As Zeke suggested, I try the uh, Slav Jerry's 3406E from the Steam Workshop. So that's what we got going here, and so far I like it. I haven't done this trip in an awful long time, so because I generally run, uh, and I realize it's out again, uh, the Reforma map's been updated, that's what I usually run, and that affects California for me, so uh, we'll get another look at California as it was before the... Uh, before the rebuild takes effect. I seem to remember a farm down here somewhere. I used to go a lot with the uh, Triple Low Boy. I'm liking this engine so far. A little quieter out here than the Z mod. Sounds great inside. Got the windows down, of course. That sounds pretty good. Sounds legit. Five hundred and fifty horsepower. This truck in real life. This is uh, North Coast Wines from uh, Ukiah, California. And uh, the real life version of this truck is got a compound turbo on it, so sequential turbos. And 705 horsepower. But really interesting, this whole thing with this truck. So we'll talk a little bit about the truck itself, the real life one, because I first saw it about a month or so ago, maybe a couple months now on uh, semi-casual and they're out at a truck show in California seeing what's different because they don't get out west very often they're usually midwest and east and southeast and uh, this truck you know I I've seen it flash by on, I don't know truck shows videos whatever I never really paid attention until they actually got a hold of the guy he won a whole bunch of awards with it and uh, so they had a, oh, here's this crazy corner with the triple. But anyway, uh, yeah, he, he cleaned up with this thing. And at first glance, you kind of go, well, geez, it's just a day cap. And, but when you see all the custom work and stuff, and all the, the owner did a whole bunch of it himself, which is impressive for me. I like that kind of thing. So, 
so anyway, the, he owns, I guess this is truck 12, so maybe they got 11 other trucks hauling wine. But uh, what's going on with this one? It's a 2023 Peterbilt. And uh, it's got so many neat little custom gizmos and things handcrafted. You know how the, the fuel lines come out of the fuel tank is super cool. I really like it. And I've seen it before. It's not the first time. But he did a nice job of it. Did it himself. <laughs> Built his own fuel tank uh, bracket covers and stuff. And... Um, I did all kinds of things. Lots of work on the trailer, which was a 20-year-old trailer. Uh, still going strong. Um, all kinds of neat things, so good story. Uh, energetic young dude. And, um, yeah, I should put a link to the video. Maybe I could, if I remember, when I publish this video, I'll put a link to the real truck. You get a gist, the gist of what's going on. But one thing I found fascinating was his desire to cut weight so he could max out the trailer. Because I guess the trailer is a tandem. And uh, he carries 65,000, 6,500, sorry, gallons of wine. And he can't carry that much uh concentrate because it's heavier but the idea is that the 6500 in order to do a good job for the customers and make, sh make sure the wine is delivered properly they've got to make sure the tank is right full so there's no air in it so they, they the guy standing up in the you know well the dude himself or his drivers in the other trucks are standing up there watching on the catwalk to make sure every last drop goes in that can go in so there's no oxygen to, to uh, spoil the wine. O oxygenated, I guess they called it. Go straight. So, uh, yeah, so where are we at with that? Oh yeah, so for the truck, he's just on this uh, hell bent to produce weight on the truck. And uh, that's why it's a day cab. Um, he's got, he found that drum brakes are lighter than the disc brakes. So he ordered it with drum brakes. Um, he, the air leaf suspension is the standard suspension that most new Peterbilts come with, the Peterbilt air leaf. And that's what this has on it. And uh, he orders an older version of the suspension that's lighter. And all of this so he can get that trailer maxed out is uh, I guess he's just so close to the limit with it pretty fascinating and uh, yeah great story now about this skin so the company is a real company um, normally it's not a big deal to just do something like this uh, make a logo well it's a very specific logo and I couldn't find right. it's custom font so it's not a font you can just go and find but I found one that was real close so that was easy enough for the main lettering but for the where it says wine so it says north coast and then wine and this squirrely script I searched through probably I don't know 150 fonts. I usually go to Dafont, D-A-F-O-N-T, dot com, and uh, oh, there's old school. I've got a ton of fonts, uh, like in my uh, paint.net. It's kind of, I, I need to catalog them better so I remember what I use on what mod or what skin. But anyway, so I had to make a bunch of it, and then the numbers on the hood are, they, you can't really tell from here, but that doesn't exist. Somebody custom made that 12. So I had to custom make the 12 to match. And then, 
at first I thought, well, I'll just stick the, because uh, it's no, uh, what I know how to do, I'll just make a skin and I'll throw the company logo on the door. Because, man, I do that all day long. Well, I looked at the truck again, and it's chrome steps with the logo on the chrome step. So, of course, that's what we got. So to do that, I um, I used the Ruta Open Def to put it on the step. So it goes on the cro any of the steps, and uh, but specifically this dude puts it on the Chrome step. So that's what we're running here. Um, and then for the license plate, I did the license plate. So license plate says grapes on it, of course, and. Um, now what I did, oh, I haven't been on this road in a couple of years. Wow, forgot all about that. I imagine this is going to get real good. Uh, this will be one we'll revisit when California Rework comes out for sure. The one part about this is real bad is when you get up towards Carson City, I think it's pretty hokey but we'll see now uh, to carry on with the skinning thing so I also did it for the the logo I put it on this uh, Bart's Walker food grade tanker that we have on the back the Walker tanker so it's got the logo on it and so both of these things are in what's essentially an open death which is a pain in the neck for if you want to, you know, they give you one shot at it. Like Ruta, you can have one step. Like, that's kind of annoying. So what I did is I peeled the, the, uh, the logo for the step and the one for the tanker and the license plate out of their respective open depths and I put them into the paint job. So they're in the skin. So you don't need to... Uh, well, if you, I guess you could have the open depth in. You can use either of those open depths. Keep them in your mod folder if you want. But um, have the skin above them, and what comes with the skin is going to work. So that's kind of cool. Last night, actually pretty late last night, I did a, with the first version of this skin, I did a trip to, um, oh, from, uh, where did I start? Oh boy, it was in, um, I was, it was in Sacramento. And I went to LA with a load of wine. That was a great trip, it was nice. Once again, road I haven't been on much. Should jump out a little bit. And so this guy's real truck has flat top pipes like this, tall flat tops. Um, I don't have the option in this truck to not have the uh, spot mirror. Uh, he has his spot mirror glued onto the main mirror. That's not bad, Jake. I forgot I was supposed to try that out. We'll try it again here. And he has his lights. This, the way I have the lights here is the way he has them. I totally blew that shift. I had to stop and think about what I was doing. There's a welding shop down there. 
Young Dan would be in there. <laughs> That's a good climb for this 550 horsepower engine. 39,000 pounds on. So I guess this is supposed to be the Sierra Nevada mountains. Yeah, boy, I've only been up here a couple times back in the day. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tutorial because somebody did ask me on uh, uh, Steam uh, uh, personal message, I think it was, how to um, do this Ruta thing with these uh, logos and how does that work. So it's not very difficult and it wouldn't be a very long tutorial. So I'm going to add this business to the... I'll do that tutorial coming up this week. I'm going to add this... Uh, adding the uh, open def information. So you don't need to modify... So if you have an existing open def and you got already something in it you like, uh, you modified something in it, and I'll just have it below this one. And if you want the other one to be active, move the skin below it, and it'll stop being active. Uh, yeah. So, I find it pretty fascinating that you can do this. Now, the guy who told me about this the first time when I first did it with the, the um, Bart's trailer, uh, his uh, Wilson was uh, recon. See that recon? He's not just a pretty face. Like, uh, don't kid yourself. Guy's pretty smart. That wine on the back there, the, the small script, I did that by hand, so <laughs> it may not be the best. Definitely could not find that one. Somebody in my Discord, I think, uh, Pups uh, found it a while back at a uh, font generator of some sort. And, uh, the artist formerly known as Dan reminded me and uh, I just I was so far into it I'd already really finished it but it'd be interesting to see what that's all about if you can actually create some of these one-off fonts because these guys that's the one thing with these custom trucks they're going to go to the trouble of spending in all this money and building a truck. They don't want somebody else's font on it. They want their own. So they find little ways to make them unique. This one has on the numbers little white slashes on the, on the front of the number. We'll look at it a little closer when we can here. I kind of like this engine. Uh, thanks for recommending I try it, Zeke. Got to check out the Jake here.
kind of sounds like an airplane. <laughs> it's nice though, it's not super uh, obnoxious, like ultra loud. Why is that not going? Why is my splitter wasn't working there? There it goes. tight corner coming up here looks like tightish yeah I definitely did not take this road that many times if we had it went straight but we turned our first right or is that a left I can't remember left and right whatever that bit that goes up oh yeah right that's if you're gonna take the road up to Reading and not on the main drag right through Reading. You're coming up to the east and then cut over. That road was super squiggly and tight. It's like a road to a cottage. And so was it uh, west of Reading till they did that first California rework. That was a, I don't know what to call that, dirt bike trail. It was kind of ridiculous. I remember seeing this in the uh, original. I made my uh, my first home city in uh, the game was Carson City when I first got it. Oh, there's Waldo. So that's the park that way. Yeah, I used to go through that park a whole bunch, just for giggles. Watching the airplane here. Oh, look at that. It's kind of like a backward chandelle or something for uh, a million turn. Yeah, this guy just runs one antenna on the back of his cab, so he had that option here to do that. But he was running 379 mirrors. Oh, I think these are 379 mirrors. And he had a 379 grill on his, too, on his uh, 2023 Pete. And headlights. So we are able to put all of that on here. Now that Ruta has the 379, he has those options. For the 389, kind of nice. Oh, 40 miles to go. So the paint on this skin is all locked. It's uh, it's non-paintable. But uh, and it the guy's trucks are all day cabs. But I made it. Uh, I relented because quite often I'll make a truck specific to the real truck. If it was a day cab, you get a day cab. But I made it uh, available for all the all the cabs. Just to you know. Guys may want to uh, try it on a different chassis and chassis length and uh, wheel configuration and cab. So, what the heck? I relented this time. <laughs>
we must be getting close here. Let's see what we see in the map. This is really cool, this road up to Lake Tahoe. I used to use that as my test track for, you know, I, did, I was doing tire tests in the dry and it was a riot. You'd go up the hill from the other side of Carson City across Lake Tahoe and come blasting down that hill up here through town and around again. It was an absolute hoot. I turned the traffic off and then I would see what kind of lap times I could get out of the trucks with various tires. Yeah, it was fun. I can't imagine doing that with uh, some buddies. And this is way before Convoy, long time ago. And uh, I could, I was thinking then, Jesus would be fun to do with somebody else. Build your some, some fast trucks and go road racing. You got, you got a little street racing, you got up around Lake Tahoe. You got some downhill sweepers and uphill climbing and that would be fun. Heck with going to a racetrack, let's do some road racing. And it made a good circuit. This an it's OBP. Oh, we got somebody right behind us. We got in it. Oh, the bus, he's right on our butt. Oh, he's going to stay there. It's like we got a rope attached to him. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that 12. We'll look at it later. It's got those little white flashes on it that are kind of unique. And then that wine bit there, I kind of hand drew it. So, oh, well, that's what it is. Be nice if you take those front fenders off the trailer. Quite the reflection in that uh, tanker. It's really working like a mirror. There's that red car, yeah. So we're going to Amazon Warehouse with a load of wine. There's going to be a party in Carson City tonight. Go straight. Yep. I wonder if we could do this without getting caught here. Oops, we've got it going super fast. Yeah, see those little flashes in that 12. So I just started from scratch and just... What I did for a reference uh, from the video, so the video, when they took the video, the YouTube video of the truck, you'll see it. I'll put a link to it if I can remember. And they're panning around and they're, they're at an angle. They're not looking at the 12 straight on. So what I did is I paused the video and it was looking at it at an angle. So I took my phone and I put my phone at the opposite angle over here and I took a photo of it from the other side and it kind of corrected the, uh, oh, what do you call that, uh, I don't know, three point view effect thing. And uh, so then I had sort of more or less a straight on look but it was still cockeyed and everything. but. I was kind of, I'd never tried that before. It actually kind of gave me a better idea of how it actually looked. Hurts. Oh, there's the Kenworth uh, anniversary up there. I was thinking what I should do for the traffic pack is I should put in a, uh, that, that's Amazon right there. 
I should put a 100th anniversary skin in in a 100th uh, trailer and hook them up and then just make them appear uh, very rarely. Oh, why am I not moving? I stalled it. Oh boy, are we going to go anyway? Yeah, these guys are going to go beside us. Nobody's coming across the intersection. So I wonder what this would have been in uh, without mods. Place name mods. All right, let's see. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured they were going to do. Well, let me think. Uh... I guess we could try, might try this, doesn't do a, a left hand loop. See how this works. It looks like another one of these trailers parked right there. Yeah, it is. Uh, I guess I got the trailer a little bit too close. I uh, will have to get way over here. And yeah, it was probably not the smartest thing to do. We're kind of almost going to be jackknifing the trailer into place. Let's we'll get ourselves a little bit of opposite here to start with. Let's see if we can jackknife it right in there. Oh. Leave the truck out at a bit of an angle. I don't think they care if the truck's in or not. Gonna straighten it up. So, the uh, link to the skin will be in the mod description, and I'll try and remember the guy's video from semi-casual where they look over the truck oh that was another thing I wanted to mention here we'll, we'll get um, get rid of the load and we'll talk about the other thing and I didn't hawk the horn or do my four ways shoot this can't teach an old dog new tricks so uh, yeah, I want to show you on the inside. So, um, so the dash is painted red, the same red as the chassis, and that's the way the uh, real truck is. And to do that on this truck, you know, there, there's an area inside the grill on the template, and you paint it. You know, it's just called uh, various parts or assorted parts or something. And unfortunately. It also paints the uh, receiver tank there uh, above the step below the cab, the air receiver. So that is um, would be painted gray on the on the real truck. So you'll see that. So that's why, because if I paint that, it's red and his is gray. So I just made it chrome, so it wasn't red. <laughs> but other but. To do uh, to get the uh, red dash, to, the ability to have his dash, I had to do that. So I thought that was a, the trade-off was worth it. So anyway, there you go, guys. It's uh, something different, and um, we'll get it. To, oh yeah, we got grapes there on the trailer because you can do that in the thingy. We got grapes on the back and the front of the truck. So this plate is once again 
um, plate zero in uh, when you're selecting the license plate. So, and I changed the sticker to 2023, but I have no idea what color it's supposed to be. I just, I was going flat out, so I just, it'll be orange still. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for following along. I really appreciate it and all the kind words. And, uh, you know, a super thanks uh, came along. That was really uh, nice to receive. And, um, yeah, it's, well, I don't know. I'm just feeling pretty uh, fortunate to have you folks as a, an audience and all the subscriptions and stuff. It's, I just strive to be worthy. I, I hope um, I uh, don't let you down too often. <laughs> anyway, take care, guys. We'll catch you later, and bye for now.